What's up guys? Knife Life 116 here. Today I have the Civivi Sentinel Strike. This guy has that really cool looking Damascus with the wavy pattern. Really like that. This here is a reverse Tonto. Got a ton of blade on this guy. The blade is measured at 3.7 inches. I really like that huge forward finger chore. Just really comfortable in the choke up position. You can really just power through your cuts with this guy. And it's just one of the most comfortable choke up positions on any knife that I've tried so far. Our overall on this guy is 8.61 inches. So quite a big knife. And then our handle or our closed length is coming in at almost five inches, 4.91 inches. So you guys would automatically think just like me that this guy has to be pretty heavy, right? Nope, Civivi did a great job. This guy comes in at that perfect weight for EDC at 3.47 ounces. So way under the five ounce mark and just right there at that golden weight, in my opinion, for EDC. We'll talk a little bit more about this still. This here is, like I said, a Damascus. Don't really know too much about Civivi's Damascus. Uh, I'm sure you guys are all familiar that Damascus is just, you know, a bunch of different stills kind of combined and then forged and folded and, you know, shaped into this nice pattern that we get everything that i hear everything that i could find i'm just going on what other people have told me but it seems to be like a non-cr base damascus so that's pretty acceptable in my opinion because you know you get decent quality edge retention decent toughness and hardness and also you still get all of the stainless properties so I really dig that with this being extra stain resistant. <clears throat> the HRC on this guy is coming in at 58 to 60 on the hardness. Now I did a little bit of research and I couldn't find nothing too specific, but they said that, you know, good quality Damascus can range anywhere from like 52 to like 62, some, somewhere in that range. So with Civivi, you know, they got that 58 to 60 range. So that's pretty good in my opinion. Now that was kind of based on like, you know, some VG10 Damascus. So the numbers could be off. Like I say, that's just a rough estimate from the internet. Just kind of, you know, gave me a wide range of numbers, but I can say that Civivi is in that top range. So that makes me feel good. And I have other knives with their Damascus and it's like the teardrop or the raindrop pattern Damascus. So it's a little different, but it should still be like the same base materials and no complaints. Just, you know, excellent edge retention. Actually, I would actually say that it was better than some of my other non-CR knives. So I definitely do think that Damascus is, you know, a step or two above non-CR. I don't know if it's because of the way they do a really good heat treat or whatever, or if it's just me wanting to feel like I'm getting a little bit more for the upcharge, it could be that, but I just have no complaints with Civivi's Damascus and it seems to be high quality in my opinion so far. <clears throat> so this is a in-house design from Civivi and it came out quite some time ago. It's not a new design by any means, but it's just really cool. Um, I have an unboxing of this video if you guys are interested in the unboxing, but the point of today's video is I just, you know, I wanted to come on here. I've had this guy for almost a year, not quite a year, but right right there at the year mark. So I, I'm pretty confident in uh, my opinions and that I could, you know, attest that this guy is a really good knife and I can definitely recommend it for you guys. So we'll move along to these handles. These are aluminum handles. And if you guys are familiar with Civivi or Syncut, or I'm not sure if we has any aluminum knives, probably not. There's all like titanium, 
but Sincut and Savivi, if you've tried any of their aluminum, then you know it's definitely like high quality. It's not that like slick aluminum and uh, whatever they're using, like I don't know if it's like a powder coat or like a um, Cerakote, I'm not sure, but it's very tough and it's very uh, resistant to abrasions. Like you guys can see, I've carried this knife quite a bit. I'll show you the blade here in a little while. It's got a little bit of wear, but these handles have just held up just really well in my opinion. And I really dig these little holes right here. Some people call them speed holes. Some people call them exhaust holes. Um, I just call them holes. I like the way they look. They're smaller to me. And this was explained to me by another guy, one of my fellow friends on here, uh, Pro Bar Knives. But he says that, you know, when they're small like that, that he considers them to be exhaust, exhaust holes. And I totally agree with that. So <laughs> I found myself ever since I watched his video with him saying that these are automatically exhaust holes in my opinion. And you know, the bigger ones, I consider those speed holes. So that's why I call those exhaust holes in my opinion. These holes back here definitely help for weight uh, reduction. This, you know, some people might get this confused with the integral, it's definitely not. It's kind of, uh, if you guys have seen the Wii Exitons and uh, there's another one, I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's the Warncliffe version of the Exiton. They've got this same kind of like back strap um, mechanism, innovative design that they've come up with to give you the feeling of an integral to where there's no, no gap in the back. So this acts as like a full length back spacer. And also it gives you that feeling of having an integral knife. So this back strap here, it has like a frag pattern milled into it. It is made of FRN. That's why this knife is just so extremely light because everything on it is lightweight with the aluminum and the FRN. And even with the uh, Damascus with the blade geometry and the profile on this guy, they took a lot of the weight off of it. Got super tall flat grinds. Check out that blade profile geometry, just very, very slicey. This is one of my sliciest knives and I just, it's a joy to cut with. You can see it's kind of got that flat bottom. Um, profile about it kind of like a worn cliff or a sheep's foot and i really dig that you can get just so much work done with this guy and it's just a utilitary powerhouse um going you can see just like little places of like where like you can see the tips took quite a bit of use but just this damascus has held up just really really well in my opinion kind of like the shinier places it's like they show wear a little bit more than like the uh the acid etch places but just hides wear really good i just wanted to point that out like you can see a little bit on the tip but nothing back here where i've done a lot of cutting so that's just really good a, a good testament to the heat treat of the steel and uh, this thing it gets a razor sharp. It definitely reminds me of some of my other knives, like with 14C, just the way that it gets like so razor sharp and it just drops back like so clean and so sharp, just so easily, pretty much effortless. And I think that has a lot to do with the profile of the blade, with it just being, you know, straight and flat. I guess it's just, you know, really easy to get in there and get it done. But you can look down inside of there and you can see that those are solid slabs of aluminum. So very solid, very solid design. And it's just very comfortable ergonomically. Got very neutral handles and the way they put that back strap into the profile, it just, it feels so good. Um, I don't have any integrals in my uh, collection. So this was cool to have this to kind of, you know, get an idea of what that would be like. And this guy, you know, it may seem expensive at first when I think this guy was like $120 on pre-order and I ordered it back when it first came out. 
So it's like, it's not, it's not like a super still or anything, but it's got the Damascus and it's got like, this was like the first wave Damascus pattern that they dropped. So that was cool. And then the way you got like the innovation into this back strap. And this is the closest knife that you could get without spending the four or $500 on the uh, Exitons. And you know, the limited edition ones that they first incorporated this technology into. So I think that's a really good price. And like with the aluminum, it just, it gives you the feeling of a premium knife. Like this knife definitely feels like some of my other premium knives that I do have. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, and I think by now, like they've come way down and you can get other versions of it too. Like the other ones come with like black wash blades and they got like K110 as the steel. And that's basically the same thing as D2, just like a, a name brand. It's just a different name brand of D2. So that's a really good and solid steel. And like I say, they got the black wash on it. So if anybody's worried about corrosion, then it's, you know, they've thought about that as well. But D2 and K110, I've had excellent results with those stills as well. And they will definitely hold an edge longer than this Damascus. So I would actually recommend, you know, getting the more budget minded model because you'll get a better performance out of it and you're going to get the same handle materials. Like you still got the same exact handle materials and design. And I, I actually, I just think K110 and D2 is a better still than this Damascus own performance. Now, aesthetically, yes, of course, this looks cooler and all that, but I'm a D2 fan, so I'm always going to point that out. You know, D2 outperforms a lot of stills anyway, but I'm going back to these handles. Um, you can see that we have a glass breaker they incorporated a glass breaker into the design. And this is also how you can switch your pocket clip from left to right hand carry. So very cool the way they did that. Perfect centering on the blade. Very good acoustics. And if you guys already know Civivi, they're, they're like the best on the button lock game in my opinion. Uh, even better than Kaiser. That's going to surprise a lot of you guys because Kaiser is just my all-time favorite, but Civivi has them beat on the button lock, in my opinion. This thing feels just like it's got a detent. It's just so snappy, and they're so consistent with that. That's that's with every Civivi, and I've, I've got a ton of Civivis, and they're just so consistent like they got that consistent, very snappy button lock that just, it will fool you. You know, it acts just like a detent. So I really appreciate that as well. And this guy has tons of deployment options. You can deploy this guy about a thousand different ways. You can make your own ways up. Uh, you got a rear flipper tab here that's got just that perfect jumping on it. Really dig that very functional very snappy then you got the finger cut out you can reverse flick it you can thumb flick it then you have your thumb studs can do all the regular stuff with those just you can do about a thousand different deployment methods with this guy be creative and make your own up see how many you can uh come up with i like to set and do that sometimes when i fidget but I was just completely blown away by the quality on this guy, how just incredibly lightweight it is. It carries so well in pocket, like it's got a really good profile. You stick this guy in your pocket, it's easy to get around it if you got other things in your pocket as well. And it has just been a really, really awesome knife that I have just really enjoyed carrying. It's one of my favorite purchases as far as value and as far as performance, just what I got out of it. And uh, I just can't recommend Civivi knives enough. You guys already know that, you know, Civivi is just on top of the game. They're doing their thing right now. And I don't think they're gonna stop anytime soon, so. If you guys haven't definitely check this knife out i totally recommend it uh we're gonna hop off of here i'm gonna end the video with today's carry have the civivi altus this is a later um drop 
where they came out with this green aluminum for the scales and these are scales instead of handles because they do have the steel liners inside so this guy's a little bit more heavy it's actually heavier than this guy but nitro v on this black wash blade really dig this blade shape it's very pokey and pointy while still maintaining that you know super slicey action that i like with those tall flat grinds uh they did a really good job on the sharpening troll and plunge grind action is just great this is one of the snappiest thumb stud action knives that i have tried um i upgraded the pocket clip to the mill tie clip from Savivi, so uh got t8 hardware going all the way around this guy um you can see inside where they did you know they milled out those steel liners but still a little bit of weight because you have the aluminum on top of them uh, you got a open construction design with two standoffs in the back and they incorporated kind of like the little hidden lanyard post. I always like seeing that. That's pretty cool. One thing I do have to point out and uh, let you guys know, if you do switch to the mill tie clip from Civivi, uh, and this is with any knife, that you will lose like the deep carry. But I mean, that's still pretty deep carry in my opinion. And these clips just work phenomenal. They're just so comfortable, so comfortable. And they completely change the profile and the aesthetics of every knife that I've ever used and put them on. Just kind of, you know, made me feel like I had a brand new knife altogether. So I definitely recommend, you know, trying out the titanium clips as an upgrade if you're tired of like the stock ones so this was today's carry um let me go ahead and show you guys give you a cut test with this guy just very nice very sharp And this is still Savivi's Edge. All I've done is just, you know, maintain it, just bring it back every time. And like I say, it's doing really, really good. That tip gets a lot of use and I'm just, I'm really surprised that it's still that sharp, honestly. So guys, please smash that like button if you like what you've seen. Um, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and I will catch you on the next one, Knife Life 116. Peace.